Welcome to this sleek abs and glute workout. Starting on all fours, extend the back leg to arabesque. We're going to touch the toe to the front and the back of the supporting leg alternately. Keep the back knee fully extended and rotated. Keep the core engaged. Moving the leg lever from the center axis like this is fantastic for shaping our core as well as our gluteal muscles. Moving on to our second exercise, we're going to draw the knee in towards the chest and then rotate twice in the air. So a contraction in the abdominals and then a rond de jambe action for two. Again, draw in, contract, extend, down and round, down and round, knee to nose, extend, down and round, down and round. Just three more to finish. For three, for two. And last one, no to knee, extend. This time we're going to lower and lift the leg, then drawing the knee in towards the shoulder. Again, lower and lift, in towards the shoulder. This works our outer hip area. We're taking a shorter set. Just give me five. One more to finish. And here, relaxing down, sit the heels back. Lengthen the arms out in front of you and stretch into the glutes. We're gonna reset for one more set of these. A lower and lift of the arabesque. Draw the knee to shoulder and release again. Three more to finish up strong. Working that outer hip area and cinching in the waist. Last one for our little stretch out again. Lower the knees, sit the bottom back to the heels, stretch the fingertips forward. Moving on, extend the leg back behind you, full extension, then tuck the toes underneath. Lift your supporting leg just off the floor, engage the core. Now pendulum swing the leg from side to side. Nice quick movement, working our waist, working our upper body as well. Come to your central alignment, little lift to lower the hip. Square the shoulders off, little stretch. Then bring the back leg to the front. Cross back stretch, draw the thigh in. Spiral to face the side and lengthen everything out. Lying back into your forearms, now extend the legs out. Inner thighs working as we split, cross and change. Split, cross and change. Firing up our adductors, still engaging our core. And finally, our alternate toe touches. A bend in the knee, twisting and touching the toes alternately to the floor. This is great for our waist. We're still engaging those leg muscles as we extend out and contract back in. Finally, rocking onto all fours, extending the opposite leg back, repeating the whole sequence on the second side. Extend the back leg, lift to arabesque, and touch alternately, making that arcing shape in the air to the front and to the back. Engaging the glutes, keeping the tummy held and the neck long. A nice smooth arc through the air. Moving straight on to our second exercise, draw in and circle. Rond de jambe action. Down and round, down and round. Knee to nose, extend. Round one and two. And four more to finish strong. Draw in, extend. Round one, round two. Shaping into the glutes with those rond de jambes. 
contract into the abs as the knee comes in. Our third exercise, again, lower and lift to arabesque, drawing the knee to shoulder this time. Contract the waist and work that outer hip. A short set, just up to five, and we'll take our stretch. Lower the leg and sit back. Bottom to heels, stretch out the fingers. Take a breath in, exhale out and get ready for one short set again. Back onto all fours, extend to arabesque, lower and lift, contract knee to shoulder. Working to cinch in that waist, at the same time, engaging the glutes and outer hip area to flatten and lengthen. Once more, take your stretch, sit back and lengthen out. Before we come straight back to all fours and prepare by tucking the toe underneath. Lift off the supporting leg, then pendulum swing front to back. Firing up our core, working on our upper body strength as well. Bringing the leg to static, lift to lower the hip. Square off the shoulders and draw your back leg to the front, stretching on our second side wrap, twist, and then lowering back into our forearms again on our second side, ready to split across those legs. Not crunching in the abs, looking out past the ends of the toes, working those inner thighs on that scissor action as well. And finally, dropping the feet to the floor in an alternate twisting motion. Cinching in our waist, engaging our front abdominal panel. And preparing on our final time to roll back onto all fours. And this time, drawing our belly button up, taking a cat stretch. And in the reverse, sending our tail and chin upwards. One more time, contract the belly button, this time tucking the toes underneath you. Push back into your heels and stretch into the backs of the legs. Flattening out through the shoulders, pressing the chest to the floor, lifting the heels and dropping alternate feet stretching out into the calves and Achilles, padding through, stretched finish, well done. Don't forget to head over to our sleepbellyfitness.com site for the full workout.